स्थानीय तह निर्वाचन 2079 बैशाख 30 निर्वाचनमा प्रभाव पार्ने उद्देश्यले सामाजिक सञ्जालमा निर्वाचन सम्बन्धी गलत भ्रामक वा बेस्पूर्ण सूचनाहरु आउन सक्छन् त्यसैले सामाजिक सञ्जालमा छुटा साइट र अकाउन्ट सञ्चालन नगरौं अरुलाई होच्याउने अपमान गर्ने द्वेषपूर्ण भाषण जस्ता भ्रामक टीका टिप्पणी र मानहानि नगरौं कसैको चरित्र हत्या हुने र व्यक्तिगत लालचना लगाउने सामग्री उत्पादन प्रकाशन वा प्रसारण नगरौं भेदभाव र द्वेषपूर्ण अभिव्यक्तिको उक्साहटमा नपरौं सही सूचना मात्र प्राप्त गरौ र सही सूचनालाई मात्र शेयर गरौ निर्वाचन स्वच्छ निष्पक्ष र विश्वसनीय बनाऊ निर्वाचन आयोग नेपाल विल गो टु अनदर मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स पैसेज हियर आई हैव विद मी पैसेज इन ग्राफोलॉजी एंड इंडेक्स टु पर्सनालिटी आई एम गोइंग टु रीड आउट एंड देन वी विल डील विद द आंसर्स देयर द एनालिसिस ऑफ हैंड राइटिंग हैज अ लॉन्ग हिस्ट्री some say it goes back to Roman times. Modern graphology began early in the 19th century when French churchman Jean Hippolyte Misson created the first graphological catalog, examining, for example, where letters fall on the line, their shape, and the pressure exerted. Alan Conway, a professional graphologist for 12 years, says, Handwriting says more about you than many chosen words simply because you cannot hide yourself in your handwriting. It's not really your hand that's writing, but your brain. It's your personality that's frozen in ink. Despite public skepticism, graphology plays an important role. Despite public skepticism, graphology plays a covert role in the British management. Many companies use it for executive recruitment and analysis. Graphology tells them about the candidate's temperament, highlighting both the strength and weaknesses. There are about 300 moments on an unlined A4 piece of writing and students must find and interpret them all. He also needs to know three things about the writers, their sex, their age, and their are he also needs to know three things about the writers their sex their age and if they are left or right-handed then he looks for 16 dominant elements including the size of the writing the pressure the speed and slant of the words how connected the characters are as well as the form of the connections the proportions of the middle zone covered by small letters such as o and n and upper and lower zones where the letters extend up or down as with D or P and the rhythm and regularity of writing. But there is one golden rule, Reese says, no single sign on its own must ever be taken to mean anything. The principles according to Conway are straightforward, the baseline whether the writing goes straight across the page or slants up and down helps to determine the writer's state of mind. A very upward baseline shows a creative, ambitious and outgoing person. A slightly downward one can reveal dissatisfaction or unhappiness, though it could simply be a sign of fatigue. A sharp downward baseline usually indicates serious problems or illness. Probably emotional, says Conway while a straight one is an excellent sign of emotional stability. An irregular baseline can mean an excitable writer with poor self-discipline. The way letters are formed and connected is important. A writer with angular letters, for example, is often persistent and decisive. Arc letters suggest the writer is reluctant to express emotions freely and may appear cold. Where the bottoms of letters are curved like a cup and the writer is likely to be open to the world and at ease. And writing with letters threaded, connected together as if by a length of cotton can indicate speed or laziness. The more connected the letters, the more coordinated the patterns of thought. Character size can also be significant. 
Larger letters tend to suggest vitality, enterprise and self-reliance, while small letters can reveal a lack of self-confidence, but are also found in fields of research where concentration and exactness are necessary. The slant of a person's writing indicates the emotional makeup where all the letters are vertical and the writer is likely to be someone uncomfortable in groups. For right-handers, left towards slant shows introversion while rightward slant reveals someone outgoing, friendly and ambitious. A constantly varying slant betrays an unpredictable personality. The spacing between words points to the writer's original. The spacing between words points to the writer's organizational abilities. Wide spacing suggests individuality, extravagance, self-confidence, and sociability. Even the color of ink a person chooses can be desired. Even the color of ink a person chooses can be telling. Blue may indicate someone with no desire to be exceptional or pretentious. Green likes to impress and red to shock. Brown is often used by people who work in high security jobs, able to keep secrets while black shows a demanding or forceful character who wants to make an impression. Now that is what we have. Okay, so this is a bit complex. We have to info, you have to find out what it means to say sometimes the questions might not be direct like we have a question here which says what is graphology how is it more revealing than words now we don't have an answer to this question directly but we have come to know that graphology is the art of finding about a person's personality through his or her handwriting and it is more revealing than words because one cannot hide his or her own handwriting whereas words can be hidden right so that is how it is we cannot change the handwriting all of a sudden but we can change what we're talking about according to our moods or according according to our uh, to the person we are speaking to so the other word is how is graphology used in British management now if you look at the passage you'll see that it's a very long process a very long thing is written about uh, how British management uses graphology but we have to shorten it try to find out the theme and write it down and it's as simple as this graphology is used to recruit execute Graphology is used to recruit executives at the Hatedika. Graphology is used to recruit executives as the management feels that it tells the companies about the strength and weaknesses of the writer or applicant. So that's what it is. We don't have to write the whole passage over there. And the third question we have is how can we learn one's emotion and patterns of thought through handwriting? give two examples now we have to be uh, to the point the baseline helps to determine the writer's state of mind that's as simple as that and and the examples are according to Conway that is not uh, universal truth or something this is according to Conway that has been um, people have now here we don't have a universal truth but we have a person's research results let's say so the person conveys says something so we can put whatever he says in inverted comma you don't have to write the whole thing just take out the correct points and put it down like we can say according to Conway a sharp downward baseline usually indicates serious problems or illness probably emotional while a straight one is an excellent sign of emotional stability. It is what we write. We have given both examples. So in this way, we can write out our answers in short to the point. We have inferred and found out the core theme of what the passage 
wants to convey. So this way we will try to read properly, try to find out what they want to say. Like for the first question we don't have anything for what is graphology, nothing is written there but we have inferred, oh it's the art of writing because it talks about handwriting and it talks about how people we can find out the temperaments of people through handwriting. So, you know, it's an art of finding out what, okay, in the first instance, what is graphology? We inferred. There's nothing written about what graphology is, but we read the text carefully and came to know it's an art of finding out about a person's temperament. So, that's how we inferred and we try to find out the core theme okay so in this case in the first question we read we read between the lines and found out what they wanted to say what the passage wants to convey nothing is given there about graphology it has just stated how graphology works it doesn't uh, explain to us what graphology is but we have tried to work it out that's inferring, that's trying to find out the, uh, what the writer wants to say, what he wants to give to us. So this is how we work. So, and yes, this is all for today. This is Institute for Excellence, which is based on education, which helps students prepare themselves for different exams and especially it's targeted at public service commission exams this is the english part and we have short videos we'll come with more of them keep smiling be happy be cool be confident namaste smartphone ra smart jamana khalti ho paisa ko naya thegana dining ma basera aadha raat uthera party ma ramera shopping mall ghumera tv ko payment done internet recharge done bill ne ko ticket done film ko ticket done पैसा नवैनी हाथे माँ खलती बटे पेमेंट डन स्मार्टफोन र स्मार्ट जमाना खलती हो पैसा को नया ठेगाना